O'Connor Sensei came up to me and says, you know, these people are training real hard and they need a break. Will you do the next class? <laughs> yeah, that's why I'm here. Just relax. Cut it to the one hand grab. Make sure everything is in front of you. The moment that you lose that is when you have a problem. The moment you lose that is when you have a problem. You always protect yourself by keeping things where you can control them best. So when I remove this from my protection, I replace it with this. So I always have something in front of me, you have something in front of you. I want choice, I don't want to give him choice. <laughs> so I want the choice. So what, what's he going to do? Very, you want the choice, you don't want to give him the choice. Slowly. If I change. Then I have to come back. There's two moves. So slowly. So cool. Stutz. It's one continuous move. Kata de dori is one on one. So kata de dori can be from yaku hami, or it can be from ai hami. But either way, it's kata de dori, kata te one side. Ryote means two, okay? That's Ryote. And yet, we learn, stay right there. From Kadadeturi, this move. From Tsuki, this move. So in Ryote Tori, same move. But the other way. The first two were this way for Ryote, it's the other way. And when you do it the other way, then you have the other one mirror it. Okay? Now it's like you're holding a ball. I'm from Hawaii and we want to sell you beach balls. No, I'm not. I'm from California. We have bigger balls. No, <laughs> beach balls. So as we're moving, make sure that you have as big a beach ball as you can make. Now let go. <laughs> right now, I have an opening, yes or yes. And that's the whole idea of doing this move. What you're trying to do is what we call tsukuri. What's tsukuri? You're creating the opportunity to do kuzushi. And what's kuzushi? Balance breaking. And from kuzushi, you have the opportunity to do kake. And what's that? Oh my god. Are you guys for real? Kake means to follow through, to do something, yes? Kakeru, to apply. Tosho <laughs> da. Anyway, so, so we're creating kuzushi kake. Tsukuri, kuzushi kake. Right. Okay, first of all, if you pass the test, we can continue. If not, we won't. What is this? You failed the test. <laughs> Again, what is this? A stick, yes. It's not what it was intended for, it's what you use it for. Always understand, you know, you can use anything in the manner that you choose. And that not that the purpose why we practice Aiki and Aikido? Because we want to fashion, use, embellish, whatever incorporate things that benefit us. Aren't we all listening to the same radio station, WIIFM? What's in it for me? Isn't that true? If you're not for you, who will be? If you're not for you, who will be? But if you're only for yourself, then what are you? And if not now, when will you start to accept 
that you have to be there for yourself. Paraphrasing a very famous Jewish philosopher, Hillel. You have to understand that martial arts is probably the most selfish thing you can ever do. Why? Because it's all about you. It's all about you and your survival. Yes or yes? Some of you are here and the rest of you are not. <laughs> but that's okay. Know, know the reason why you're anywhere. Know the reason why you do. Know the reason why you don't. You don't have to share it with anybody else. It's all on you. Okay. That's why I love martial arts. That's why I love Aikido. Not because I'm any good at it, but because it's something I choose to do. Every day I wake up and says, I think I retire today. I look in the mirror and says, no, you can't retire today. You're too ugly. <laughs> so I come back and try to do a little bit better. I'm going to have three of the members from my dojo help us. I call them the three amoebas. <laughs> They're all single cell animals. So you don't have to worry about hurting their feelings. One of them was the senior instructor in our dojo. The other two are extremely valuable people doing our kids' classes. So if they talk to you like, you, you know where they're coming from. No, I'm not kidding. So please stand. And I want to have my three amoebas in front. I call this the three step. The three step in two parts. One is tsuki, one is uchi. Tsuki is the thrust, uchi is the strike. So let me show briefly what I'm talking about. Okay, so on the tsuki, the tsuki is always point specific. So it's going to be step one, step two, step three, step one, step two, step three. Okay, that's all it is. Okay, after about two minutes, then you can go home. So anyway, it's always point specific. It's one, two, three. One, two, three. Uchi, however, is area specific. Instead of point specific, it's area specific. Now it becomes a strike. Again, it starts from here. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay? So those are the two, two, three step process. Make each one separate. Make each count separate. Now we're going to get closer, but I still don't want you to hit each other. So we're going to be basically taking turns. So as Pedro comes forward, I'm going back. And he goes back, I go forward. He comes in, I go back. He goes back, I go forward. Okay? When you position yourself, you give yourself options. But when you position yourself only for one, that's all you get. Don't go for technique, gang. Go for position. So from here, if I know that he's going to change, yeah. And he moves. No, I got another one. Positioning yourself allows you to read what he's going to do. One, two. My goodness, now I'm in trouble. Except finding a way that in your positioning you give yourself options. Now have fun, get out of position and see what you come up with. Hi. Good luck. Thank you. Get yourself out of position and see what you come up with.